Hello guys, S2W here as your average consumer with your next casual consumers review. For this release, I can't vouch for overseas or around the world, but I think it's been one of the toughest models to get here in Canada. Last year in 2016, American rapper, singer, songwriter, and record producer Pharrell Williams and Adidas have worked together to create four magnificent colorways of the Human Race NMD, which was a special collaborative design that separates from all the other regular silhouettes of the NMD. One year later and as of this video's upload date, they have collaborated again to create the newest hike or trail walking ready silhouette of the Human Race NMDs. Today, I have the Adidas Pharrell Williams Human Race NMD Trail and the multi colorway here for a review. Online over at Adidas Canada, although way better than last year, they had a very limited size run. I'm talking about 3 pairs per each size stock numbers. I took L's on the raffles around Toronto and also L's on the Adidas Confirmed app too when the release went haywire and I was stuck on the loading screen for the first pair without even a chance trying for the second. But otherwise, it was first come first serve at two more locations within the Toronto area and since I don't have the time to camp out, Adidas Online was really my only chance. I was unsuccessful during launch day, but my friends surprised me with a late W. These next iteration of the Human Race NMDs are by far some of the nicest colorways that Pharrell and Adidas have come up with, as all four colorways were sold out basically immediately all around the globe. I have the multicolors with me, but released along with it were the Pale Nude, Sun Glow, and possibly the most sought out Afro colorway, the Black and Whites. Enough with the introductions, let's get into the shoes and take a closer look at these sneakers. Now in my opinion, the most hyped up colorways were the black and whites and also these multicolors. I personally have too many black and white shoes, so if I have to pitch these hyped ones together, I would definitely prefer this colorful variation and glad I was able to own one. In hand, I won't lie, it's not as bright and flashy as I've seen images online. It's actually perfect for those who want to rock a solid sneaker without going too overboard, but in my case, I was looking forward to a more vibrant tone. This colorway immediately reminds me of the same multicolored knit pattern of the Pharrell Human Race tennis shoes, so it wasn't something completely new that we've never seen before. The knit on this upper is prime knit, which we all know by now is a highly breathable, flexible, and lightweight upper. Think of it as a nice t-shirt over your feet. Up close, we will see a knit mixture of blue, purple, yellow, teal, red, and orange intertwined in a parallel formation. The knit is stretchable, but not as stretchy as something like the Prime Knit on NMD R1s as these do have some thickness to it. Essentially, it's a two-piece upper seamed together as seen by the stitching on the forefoot area close to the tongue, but still a one-piece upper in the sense that it's without any detachable compartments. Other than the colorway, something else on this upper must be mentioned. We will witness one word on each shoe with bold letters. On the right shoe, we will see the word body, whereas on the left, we will read earth. These bold letterings on the shoe is Pharrell and Adidas' way of celebrating the theme of humanity on this shoe. And from what I understand, the other colorways have different wordings on it as well. Three out of the four colorways of these Trail Human Race NMDs have these slogans embroidered into the knit. And what that means is that they're using threads to sew the letters into the knit. On the black and white pair though, the letters are 3M and adhered on the upper instead. The words on that pair will be reflective, but honestly, the threads they use on this multicolor isn't just your plain old white threads, it's actually a little glossy too. I personally prefer the embroideries on the upper, it just looks a lot better and adds a lot of the craftsmanship to the design. As for the color of the shoe, they have modernized this silhouette with a sock fitting curve, highlighted by the bright yellow overlay around the edges. Like I've mentioned before, since there are no detachable pieces on this upper, you won't see a separate tongue, but rather it's embedded with the upper and rising up a little at the front portion of the forefoot area. Then moving towards the back of the sneakers, we have a hanging leather heel tab on both shoes, each with a different print design on it. By touch, the leather tab feels very soft, and although it's not sewn shut to the fabric, you still can't really lift up the heel tab. Trust me, I tried out out of curiosity, and it sure doesn't feel safe doing it. Regardless, on the left shoe, we will see the Pharrell Williams equal sign branding, whereas on the right, we have Adidas' Trayful logo. Now for those who don't follow the Adidas NMD silhouettes, NMDs are distinctive for their stability plugs embedded on the side of the shoes. On these human race NMDs though, the distinctive element has been changed with another design of a unique caging system. On this model, both the lateral and medial side of the shoe don a yellow plastic cage. On the lateral side, this cage eventually splits itself into two blocks, one at the front and one at the back, both hanging onto the boost cushioning material of the midsole. Whereas on the medial side, the cage splits into only one back block. Texture-wise though, this cage is like one of those that feels very rubbery or grippy, and it isn't very stiff, so it's very bendable as well. 
As we can see, the cage has several netted openings big enough for the laces to thread through, so you can totally design your own lacing system or unique look to tie your shoes for extra stability. The shoe comes laced up with a purple rope lace, but it also comes with another pack of yellow rope laces as an option for lace swap. Inside the sneaker, there's no extra padding found anywhere around the lining of this shoe. It is thicker at the back though, because the black fabric layer here acts as an additional internal layer to the outer multicolor fabric, which is what I think will make this sneaker fit snug and more secured at the heel area. I did however notice that the knit transitions into a yellow fabric at the front of the sneakers though, and from that point forward, the knit there is a lot thinner here. Nothing much groundbreaking here though, it's just for your information. Also like most NMD, these come with a non-removable insole, the ones that are adhered onto the boost cushioning. But since this pair is from the Human Race collection, they have placed a reflexology graphic print on this insole, which is a system of massage used to relieve tension and treat illnesses based on the reflex points of the feet. So now we'll know which part of our feet will correspond to which part of our body. Furthermore, there's also an internal toe cap inside the sneaker, giving the toe box its shape and also a layer of toe guard as well. Midsole wise, it's the same boost technology that we've seen on every NMD. Known to be Adidas' top of the line responsive cushioning, it's the marshmallow like material you see here and it offers a very soft and bouncy compression whenever you step on it. However on NMDs, we don't really feel its maximum potential like what the Ultra Boost will offer us, as the stability blocks on the side of the NMDs will dampen the boost properties. The outsole of this shoe is what's really different from the batch of the Human Race NMDs that launched last year in 2016. For this second release, Pharrell and Adidas have placed a trail sole under this batch of the Human Race NMDs, seen on shoes like the NMD Trail that I've also done a review on earlier in the year. From the looks of it, it looks exactly like the same outsole pattern on those NMD trails, where it's made out of a grippy rubber outsole with an aggressive treaded and rippled pattern. This sole was inspired by hiking boots, and will offer us the traction one would expect from trail shoes that will dig into the soil or ground. Also at the midfoot area, we will see the familiar Adidas logo and branding plate to give this shoe additional branding. Anyways, here are some Adidas Pharrell Williams Human Race NMD Trail in the multi-colorway fit footage. Fit-wise, my friend was able to get me a half size down from my true to size. I hate to keep reminding my subscribers here, but I do have wide feet. I've seen quite a few sizing opinions but in my case, even with wide feet, going down half a size still worked nicely for me. However, I do find my midfoot arch stepping into the medial side cage a lot. It's not as bad as stepping into the stability plugs on the other NMDs, because the cage here is very flexible, so my feet is pressing down on the cage just enough for it to comfortably form around my feet. But if you're like me whose feet are wide, feeling the medial cage is a problem that we unfortunately can't avoid. I would advise going with your Adidas Prime the NMD R1 sizing, or half size down, but true to size would work as well for those who like to put an insole inside. Comfort wise, they're alright. I wouldn't say they are more comfortable than regular NMDs because I don't feel much of a difference. And with this trail sole, it certainly feels a little more heavy on feet and in hand. On the bright side, we will feel a little bit taller wearing this because of the thicker outsole, so that's always a plus. Visual wise though, it's certainly something we don't see every day on a person's feet. Although the color is a lot duller in person, it's still a loud sneaker overall with its combination of different colored threads. I really like it, especially for collabs like these, to rock something flashy yet not too overboard once in a while. Price wise, these were not cheap at all. I remember them pricing at a very high price on the first Human Race NMDs, and these were the same, if not higher. At retail in Canada, I bought these for $340. With tax, it's close to $400. Honestly, I'll be frank, these are more of a fashion item than your daily average sneaker. There's a lot more options that are more comfortable and less expensive, but if you're like me who enjoys the artist behind this collab and the visual appeal of this shoe, sometimes I do shell out some extra money for pieces like these. Again, these were really hard to get, more so than Yeezys I would say, so I'm pretty happy with my friend hooking this one up for me. As always, throw me some likes if you liked this video and let me know in the comments which of the 4 Pharrell William Human Race NMD trails did you like the most. I think for this batch, there were a lot of different opinions on this one. I personally like the multicolor way the most, followed by the teal, then pale nudes, then the oreos. After seeing some on feet of the pale nudes, I was surprised how great those looked on feet with this toned down colorway. Let me know your favorites. That's it for today, S2W, signing off.